Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the UM6P Open Days, a chance for exploration and discovery. As you know, our world is rapidly changing and evolving because of technology. But here at the School of Computer Science, parts of the College of Computing, we're not just observing these changes in technology, we are actively participating in them. We are educating the next wave of innovators and creative problem solvers who will steer these transformations. So let's embark on this journey together through open days with open minds and the will to harness these transitions. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Vesma Arnawi. I am a third year computer science student at UM6P's College of Computing, where my journey is about far more than just learning to code. Here, I am immersed in an environment where learning meets creativity, pushing the boundaries of traditional learning. This unique teacher philosophy was vividly brought to life through my participation in the ITAS Arab Youth Conference in Doha, Qatar, as you can see on this picture. The opportunity to present my colleagues Sami Agurram, Sufiya Al-Amrani, and I's project idea in front of an international panel of judges at the University of Doha is not only a personal achievement that I am very proud of, but also a testament to the continuous support and guidance we receive from our professors and in this case, Professor Lubnan Kaur and the rest of the college's administration. Their belief in the potential of students allowed me to showcase that the competencies learned at the College of Computing extend be beyond traditional learning. And as I stand on the brink of a career as a software engineer, I feel ready. I feel equipped with more than just the technical arts to build robust systems, but also the entrepreneurial mindset that will allow me to navigate, innovate, and lead in the digital era. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Eamon Yus, and I'm a third year computer science engineering student here in the College of Computing. And today, as an introduction, I chose to talk a little bit about myself and how I ended up joining the College of Computing. So the journey started when I was young. I used to watch the videos of this company uh, called Boston Dynamics. I don't know if you've heard of it or not, but uh, for those who don't know, it's an uh, enterprise specialized in uh, designing and uh, producing robots that are very agile and very intelligent and uh, designed to perform specific operations uh, in a small amount of time. So I used to watch the, these videos and I was really fascinated by the domain of artificial intelligence and uh, robotics. And when I reached high school, just like you, I said, you know what, I'm going to pursue a career or studies in computer science and more especially in artificial intelligence. So I went and looked for ambitious projects and I ended up joining the School of Computer Science as part of the first promotion. When I came here, they provided us with the necessary tools to not on, only learn and engage, but also to do and practice what I love the most. They also opened up many opportunities, such as the ones you can see in the pictures here. You can see myself along with my other colleagues, Zakari and Mahmoud, as well as our supervisor and professor, Karima Shihabi, after securing the silver medal in the Gulf Programming Contest in Muscat Oman, as well as uh, the prestigious Moroccan National Programming Contest, that was rec recently hosted by the way in the in UM6P. So uh, these achievements and opportunity uh, and opportunities uh, wouldn't have been uh, possible without the continuous guidance and support of the College of Computing Administration as well as our distinguished professors who are constantly helping us through our programming uh, journey. So uh, the floor is going to be yours Besma to carry on your speech about our digital world. Thank you Ayman. So this presentation will be divided into two parts. The first segment is titled Digital Opportunities, which will be led by myself. I will take you through a journey where every challenge is an opportunity waiting to be unlocked with the right digital key. Following it, my colleague Ayman will take the stage to delve into the intricacies of our engineering program here at UM6P's College of Computing. He will outline how our program was designed to meet the demands of a rapidly evolving tech landscape equipping students with the right skills and knowledge to thrive in the face of tomorrow's challenges. Now take a moment to look at this. Every minute of every day, a digital footprint larger than anyone can imagine is being created. On this slide, you can see a snapshot of the staggering activity happening online in just 60 short seconds. On Amazon, for example, a worldwide of transactions are taking place. And in the world of social media, Posts, comments, and messages are connecting people across various platforms with a rapidity that's almost beyond imagination. This vibrant activity is the heartbeat of our transformed world. 
One where computer science is the underlying rhythm. This relentless pace of digital activity demonstrates the omnipresence of computer science in our lives. It touches every domain you can think of, from healthcare to education, transport to defense and beyond. And also reflect on this. The largest companies in the world as of February 2024 are predominantly tech companies, with Microsoft at the top holding a market cap of $2.95 trillion, which is very huge, followed closely by other tech giants like Apple, Amazon, and Alphabet. These figures are not just numbers. They represent the transformative power of computer science in our lives. So when we say that computer science is transforming the world, we're talking about a force that drives the economy, innovates across all sectors, and shapes the way we live, connect, and work one with one another. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the world you are all entering into. A world where computer science is not just a subject, it's the language of our future. And as we step into this near future, a series of strategic predictions outline a world transformed by artificial intelligence. AI will not only augment our skills, but also enhance our professional personas. This shift has significant implications from geopolitical balances to the way we manage energy and business operations. And the balance between human workers and robotic counterparts will tip, with machine learning playing a crucial role in consumer interactions, while cybersecurity will grow in importance as threats become more complex. Now turning to Africa, we see a continent on the brink of a digital revolution. The integration of computing into all career aspects represents a seismic shift in the job market with 50% of future jobs directly linked to computing. So our continent is poised to nurture a generation of data scientists, cybersecurity specialists, IT project managers, and more. These roles will be fundamental in navigating Africa through a digitized global economy and ensuring that its growth is both sustainable and inclusive. Africa's future is bright, with its youth ready to embrace the journey and lead the way in innovation and technological excellence. And at the heart of this advancement lies the cornerstone of modern education, a computer science degree. It's more than just a pathway, it's the ticket to your dream tech job. This degree opens many possibilities for careers that are critical in today's tech-driven world. Whether you aspire to be a software engineer, a systems analyst, or even a network engineer. The knowledge and skills you gain are your most valuable assets. A computer science degree gives you a deep understanding of technology and its applications. It is about learning the language of the future and being able to speak it fluently to solve real-world problems. With this degree, you can become a creator, a builder, an innovator. You are not just watching the digital world transforming you are actively shaping it. And for the youth of Africa, this degree is a powerful tool. It is about taking control of technology and using it. So let your journey begin with a computer science degree. Let it be the foundation on which you build not just a career path, but a legacy of technological excellence in Africa and beyond. So let's get ready to meet in the future head on with the right skills, knowledge degree, and most importantly, the school that will take you there. Uh, thank you, Basma. That was really interesting. Uh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So as Basma mentioned, I'm going to be talking about our engineering school, uh, as well as our fund and through program. And to start off, I would like to talk about our curriculum. Uh, the curriculum in the School of Computer Science is uh, meticulously designed to help students uh, shape their future and career as they want. We offer a comprehensive foundation in mathematics and computer science, uh, followed by advanced studies in artificial intelligence, software engineering, uh, machine learning, and cybersecurity, etc. Uh, our approach is hands-on experience, uh, meaning we try to pretty much always uh, uh, integrate our theoretical no uh, knowledge into real-world projects. And this helps that our students are not only knowledgeable, but also adaptable and ready to overcome any challenge that the job market might present in the future. So our curriculum is divided into four uh, strong and core programs. The first one and the most important one is our digital program. We are following a course framework that is uh, provided by internationally uh, organi uh, 
uh, international organizations, and I'm talking about the prestigious ACM, the Institute of Electronics and Electrical Engineers, as well as the Association for Advancement in Artificial Intelligence. And this course framework, which is, by the way, uh, provided by many Anglo-Saxon universities, um, helps students focus on uh, specific areas or, or domains in computer science based on their interests and career goals. Of course, the tracks may uh, vary from a university to another, I mean, depending on the faculty and the, and the uh, resources. But here in the School of Computer Science, we try to pretty much uh, cover all the most uh, important tracks. As I mentioned earlier, our approach is hands-on experience. We are following a learning by doing approach. We call it the LBD, uh, where students have to integrate their knowledge into projects and learn many computer tools, such as the LaTeX, uh, Linux and Unix operating systems and robotics. And this is done through uh, minimal uh, uh, guidance from the professors, but a remarkable personal effort from the students. And of course, we also um, encourage our students to participate and shine in competitions on the national and the international scale as uh, uh, the ones you have seen with me and Besma in the introductory slide. So this was about our digital program. We have a strong language program which focuses mainly on two languages, which are French and English. Uh, our students must have C1 level by the end of their studies. We assess our English level using the TOEIC standardized test. And we also learn an additional language in the in engineering cycle, which is Spanish, that we're currently learning as a third year computer science students. We have a soft skills program that is meticulously designed to help students develop and enhance their soft skills. And I'm talking about uh, leadership, uh, collaboration, teamwork, ethical decision making. And this is done through attending many conferences and talks, uh, for example, SRDS 2023, which was hosted this year in Marrakesh. Uh, the Science Weeks in UM6P, uh, the Applied Machine Learning Days. And we also have many boot camps and workshops uh, related to soft skills. And last but not least, we have a profession program uh, that is designed to help students work on projects on professional settings. And this is very important because as you might know, the current job market in computer science is very competitive and requires a lot of uh, hands-on experience and a lot of knowledge about industry practices. So uh, as you all know, uh, our um, uh, engineering uh, curriculum is divided into two cycles, the preparatory cycle or cycle préparatoire, which is in two years. Uh, in this uh, cycle, uh, students uh, are gaining a comprehensive foundation in mathematics, physics, uh, chemistry and computer science. They're also learning many computer science basics, uh, such as uh, algorithmic thinking, uh, programming skills, uh, computer architecture. And uh, of course, they're also learning uh, French and English uh, through developing their oral and uh, written uh, competencies. And now that the students gained uh, enough prerequisites to tackle advanced uh, topics, uh, they are now facing the engineer cycle, or SIG d'ingénieur, which is in three years, where students learn uh, many advanced uh, top uh, uh, areas about computer science, um, and uh, we are talking here about the mastery of artificial intelligence and machine learning, from the data processing and pre-processing part to the modeling and uh, model, models deployment. We have many software engineering courses where students uh, face all the uh, life, cycle uh, life cycles of uh, software development, uh, the latest front-end and back-end technologies, uh, the waterfall approach, the agile methodology. Uh, we have uh, data analysis within big data context throughout our database management systems courses and distributed systems. And of course, in order to scale up your uh, apps, you have to build up robust security layers. So that is why we have many uh, cybersecurity uh, courses. Uh, before we can conclude this presentation, I would like to talk about two uh, main points in our school, which is our engineering methodology and uh, teaching philosophy. Our engineering methodology is rooted on five key principles. We have uh, problem-based learning and project-based learning. As I mentioned earlier, our students have to always integrate their learning into real-world uh, projects. And we have collaborative uh, learning. Uh, of course, uh, the students are working in teams on these projects, and by doing so, they are developing their soft skills, uh, their collaboration, uh, teamwork, uh, leadership skills. We have many projects from companies Inside, uh, inside and outside of Morocco. And uh, by working on these projects, our students are gaining uh, more knowledge about the industry and gaining more industry practices. And last but not least, uh, we are opening up our students to the research world by uh, writing many uh, beginner uh, scientific papers. 
And I can give many examples. For example, backpropagation algorithms in your networks, the application of computation theory in string and pattern matching in texts. Uh, we have the, the application of automata in uh, natural language processing. And for our teaching philosophy, it is rooted on three key points, which are uh, rigor, uh, setting uh, uh, clear goals, and focusing on achieving meaningful results. And this uh, philosophy helps our students, uh, helps producing students and graduates that are excellent, not only uh, in their learning, but also in their career and uh, basically in uh, everything they do. So this concludes our presentation about um, our engineering school as well as our digital world. Uh, that was uh, Basma Arnawi and uh, Ayman Yus. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.